partner for life is also my business partner. We discovered chai latte um, in the US, actually. We, our love of travel took us to Times Square for the millennium. And while we were over in the States, we um, were in Washington and we fell into a cafe. It was freezing cold, which we're not used to at Christmas. And they were all drinking chai. So as you do when you travel, we bought some home. And when we ran out, we contacted the company. Just like a prisoner when a sentence. There was no chai in Australia. We just started looking at how we could do it. We loved it. Why wouldn't the Australians, you know, the non-coffee drinkers, I'm a tea drinker. And so we're really discriminated in the cafe scene. You, you turn up and you have this weak, flat tea. It's boring, it's not frothy and creamy. So we wanted to bring some of that fun in for the tea drinkers. And it tastes great. I mean, it's like liquid donuts. I mean, who doesn't like donuts? So it was easy to see that, you know, there would be an opening for it and why not us? We wanted to keep it fairly simple, so we've worked with two products. So we've got a vanilla honey flavour and a club cinnamon flavour. Someone once told us that, you know, keep it simple, chops or sausages, don't give too many choices to people. So the vanilla is a very light flavour, it's sort of eggnoggy, and it's really great for beginners that are sort of used to hot chocolate, and club cinnamon's the stronger one. So if you're a chai drinker, you end up with club cinnamon. My favourite Bondi chai is Club Cinnamon. I've been drinking it for 11 years now, so I've sort of progressed past the vanilla honey. But having said that, when it comes to cheesecake, you cannot beat the vanilla honey. You make the cheesecake, and instead of perhaps adding your uh, lemon juice, you would add chai, you know, you make your chai into a little syrup and you blend it through. It just gives you that really lovely light vanilla flavour and there's just that something else. It's just so lovely and light and soft. Definitely works better. Sometimes I try to convince myself. From small beginnings, um, 17 kilos, to you know, we deal, we're doing you know, 70 tonnes a year now. So it's been a great journey and we've grown along with it and we've had you know, the chance to travel the world and travel all parts of Australia and get to meet some of the people enjoying Bondi chai. And we love that, you know, handing out samples at food shows, the number of yums and wows you get. And it just it really motivates you to think, you know, you're making a good product, people love it, and it's adding to their life. We always planned to outsource um, most of it. Um, we had a specialisation in the promotion of the product, that's where we'd come from. And so when it came to food, we knew nothing. Um, so to save us having you know, equipment and staff and um, needing all the certification that's involved with food, we simply went to the experts. So we built a team of two or three different companies to um, provide all the packaging and the production. And that was great because we didn't need to have the expertise, but we also helped with cash flow. If we didn't need product this month, we didn't order any. And if we did, we could you know, double our orders overnight. The best part about um, having Bondi Chai as a business is the lifestyle that it gives us. Australia has very much a cafe culture. The old coffee and cake is a way of life in Australia. I'm not a coffee drinker, so chai and cake is my thing. It's wonderful, the whole cafe scene in Australia, so chai is part of that. So it's been wonderful to get involved with that because not only is it a business opportunity, it's a lifestyle. When the GFC came along, a lot of restaurants suffered. But everyone's got those few dollars in their pocket to have you know, a coffee and cake. And so they'll head to the cafes, um, they'll socialise, they'll catch up. And it's all part of being a part of that fun. Martin and I love spending time together, uh, which is good because we spend all our time together. But having such a, um, working in a fun industry like the cafe industry, um, we get the opportunity to travel, to meet people. And you know, people go to cafes for fun. And so that becomes a part of our lifestyle as well. One of the great things about Bondi Chai is how much travel we get to do. We started with that in mind and our future is overseas, definitely. Um, we have a couple of ladies that work now for us here in Australia, so they've taken a lot of the burden off us. And so now we're looking, we're already working in Europe. We've just sent our first order to Japan. We've got a lot of interest in a lot of parts of the world. So certainly the brand was all about taking it overseas and now we've got a real ability to focus on that. When I sort of look back at where we started, I guess I, no one likes to say that they're proud of what they've achieved, but I look back at, you know, Martin and I sat down 
We, we found a product we loved when we were visiting the States. You know, chai wasn't happening in Australia. And we just said, well, you know, why not us? Why, why couldn't we do that? And from the tiniest of beginnings, you know, 17 kilos, <laughs> um, just the two of us, to now have a team of people and be serving chai, you know, my chai every two seconds, to be a, you know, a recognised brand, it feels pretty special. It's not something we actually thought we could ever achieve, but, you know, looking back now at what we have achieved, it's, it's been a great journey.